I uh, grew up in Israel uh, during the Holocaust, and I had a personal connection to the Holocaust uh, through my nanny, Batya, uh, who came from Poland just before uh, the outbreak of World War II. And uh, she had left her parents and her younger brother in Poland. And uh, her parents were murdered by the Nazis. But all uh, through the war, um, she tried to keep in touch uh, with information from Poland. So that was my personal connection to the Holocaust. And my husband was in, uh, in the American Air Force in World War II, and, uh, and he saw uh, some of the concentration camps, especially Dachau, and he was uh, quite moved by what he saw there. And uh, I think those two factors affected me. So after my husband died, I started uh, creating artwork about the Holocaust, uh, first in the form of paintings, uh, which I started in 87. And then the following year, I started uh, creating the wall hangings because I felt that um, the uh, medium that I used in the paintings was not sufficient uh, to express my feelings about the Holocaust. And uh, the wall hangings are works on loose hanging fabric and they allowed me not only uh, to expand the size of the works as against the paintings, but also use a wide variety of uh, mediums like painting and stenciling and uh, block printing and beading and embroidery and applique and so on. So it, it broadened my means of expression which is what I wanted. Now, the wall hangings are different from tapestries in that in tapestries, the images are created uh, by means of weaving of threads of different colors. I don't do any weaving in the wall hangings. I just use a lot of other different mediums. Anne Frank is very important uh, in my art uh, because uh, well, there are several reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, of course, she's an individual, and so I could focus on one person rather than talk about the millions who were killed. And I think that brings into focus, you know, what really happened. And second, of course, she was a child uh, during the Holocaust, and so uh, she symbolizes the million and a half children who were killed in the Holocaust. But finally, she, she was born the same year that I was, 1929. And uh, I've often thought that, but for the fact that my parents had the foresight to go to Israel in 1920, I might have suffered her fate. So I've created uh, several works about Anne Frank. Uh, uh, first of all, there's uh, Anne Frank's Hiding Place, uh, which shows Anne Frank, and superimposed on her portrait is a, an outline of the uh, floor plan of the building where she was hiding from the Nazis with her uh, family. And uh, the image uh, conveys what she conveyed in her diary, where she compared herself to a caged bird. And uh, the floor plan superimposed on her face uh, conveys the idea of somebody being caged. And another work where I tried to convey uh, the feeling of her being trapped is Anne Frank's Amsterdam, where I have many images of Anne Frank, and then superimposed on them is the uh, city of Amsterdam, the, the street pattern, which looks like a spider web. And again, I wanted to convey the feeling that she was trapped. 
Then there's another work, another wall hanging that is called Anne Frank's Journey, in which I try to show the uh, vast distances that uh, Anne Frank traveled during her very short life. Uh, she was born in Frankfurt in Germany, and from there uh, she fled with her family to Amsterdam after Hitler came to power. And uh, then after they were caught by the Nazis, they were sent to an internment camp in, in Holland called Westerbork. And after about a month, uh, they were shipped to Auschwitz. And then from Auschwitz, uh, she and her sister uh, were uh, transported to the Bergen-Belsen uh, concentration camp, which is in Germany. So she went from Germany to Holland to Poland and back to Germany. And uh, in this uh, wall hanging, I tried to show how her image fades as she reaches her death in Bergen-Belsen. Now there's another uh, wall hanging about Anne Frank that is called Boxcar. Uh, and uh, I show her in a, in a train uh, compartment where she is seen in the window. And uh, the boxcar is all boarded up and you see a very small image of Anne Frank uh, in in the window, and uh, of course the box cars uh, were uh, animal transportation uh, means that the uh, Nazis used to transport uh, Jews uh, during the Holocaust. Uh, the idea in box car is to show how helpless she was against a massive power of the, of the Nazis. Uh, I have another, a later work that I did, a wall hanging that is called Witness, in which I show uh, a portrait of Anne Frank with the uh, railroad uh, tracks superimposed over her face and covering her mouth as if to silence her. And I uh, impose my, my own eye over one of her eyes. Uh, and the idea there was that uh, even though she can no longer bear witness to the Holocaust, an artist like me uh, can do so. And finally, uh, there's another work that is called Remembrance, which is essentially uh, an introduction uh, to all the wall hangings as well as the summation. And uh, that work uh, has images of death like uh, corpses and dismembered heads and arms and barbed wire and train tracks. And it shows Anne Frank uh, in several uh, places uh, to remind us that this uh, happened not to an abstraction like six million, but to individuals like Anne Frank.